All right, let's practice measuring some angles using a protractor. A protractor is a tool that's used to measure angles. Used to measure angles. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll get out a protractor here in a second, and we're going to measure, let's just draw an angle in here. Let's say we're going to measure this angle right, whoops, that was a little bit too much angle. <laughs> let's try that once more. <laughs> let's say we're going to measure this angle right here. How's that? That's reasonably straight. Yeah. So what we do is we call out our protractor. Looks like this. Yeah. And we set it up so that the center of the protractor is right on, oops, I'm moving my line, not my protractor. Wow, I am just flubbing this up. Let's try this again. There we go. So that the center of the protractor is on the vertex of your angle. In other words, right on that point where the two lines come together. And so that one line, the bottom line of your angle, is right at zero degrees, right along this black line on the bottom. Then all we have to do is start from zero degrees over here. You'll see that we can read it in either way. There's zero over here and there's zero on the other way. But what we want to do is measure it on the side where our line is lined up. Since we're lined up over here on the left, we're going to start from zero here and read around. And it looks like we're at just about 135 or 136 degrees. So let's label that. 136 degrees, and that tells us that our angle from here to here is 136 degrees. Yeah. So let's try another one. Let's try um, let's try an angle going the other direction. Let's try doing one this way. One over here, and we'll go up. Oh, I don't know, like here somewhere. Yeah. So then we have. Our baseline lined up on this side, lined up with zero, and now we start with zero this way, and we go around 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 to 50 degrees. So this angle here is 50 degrees. Now, the question is, do you have to line up the points? No, you don't. You can actually line up the protractor on any angle you want. It just tends to be easier to line up those points. If, for instance, I lined up the protractor with, say, 30 degrees here. Let's rotate this around so that our line is parallel with 30 degrees. And set our center right on there. So now, then we can see that if we're going from about 30 degrees on around 30 degrees up to 80 degrees, the difference is still 50 degrees. So you can measure it from other locations. It's just obviously far more convenient to line it up with the bottom. Now the other question, or the other uh, project you may end up doing, is drawing an angle with a specific number of degrees. So let's say we need to draw a 65 degree angle. Yeah. So what we'll do is just take our baseline. What we want to do is draw a baseline that's long enough that it's easy enough to line up with the bottom of the protractor. Yeah. And then we go around to 65 degrees, starting from zero on that side. 65 degrees is right about here. So then we put a point out there at 65 degrees. And then we just connect that point to our vertex. Oops, sorry about that. Not so easy to draw a straight line with this particular tool I have here. Something like that. And then this angle on the inside would be our 65 degree angle. That's really all there is to it. Protractors aren't that difficult to use. They do take a little practice. Just make sure that you line up the vertex with that center point and that you line up one of the lines of your angle with zero on one side or the other so it's easy to identify the number of degrees you're looking at.